Okay, let's continue on here now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the slate and the battens and that type of thing uh, at the top here. And we're going to be using a combination of detailed items and a little bit of drafting in order to do that. And the reason is that if I go into component and detail component and load family, okay, and I'm into detail items there. Under um, cladding and covering, right, we've got plain roof tiling and single lap roof tiling. And if I just show you some of those there, see those type of things? Now, um, if I was doing tiling, great, but I'm not doing tiling, I'm doing um, slate. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put in some battens here. And to get the batten in, it's a detail component, load family. And remember where we were, we we're in G and G20 and into wood framing. And there's my battens here, and I'm going to say that the uh, batten is 25 say by uh, 50 all right now here it is at the end of my cursor and you know if you hit the space bar it'll rotate around except i want this to rotate at the 45 degree angle here so it, to get it to do that what i'll do is look if i bring my cursor over okay and sit it on the on the line and actually this is going to be down here if i hit my space bar now look it'll rotate to that particular angle and i can place that one there now i'm actually going to place two um at this area here because oh right let's see if i can copy that yeah yeah uh, because you'd normally have what's called a tilting batten here that would just tilt the very last slate into into the gutter here but uh, now that I've got that positioned, I'm going to copy that one and uh, from that point here I've got my multiple on there and I'm going to space these at in around say 400 something like that there okay because my slate is going to be uh, around 600 by 300 or so now to draw the slate in well i'm just going to draft it in so detail line uh, medium lines there and um, i will start from a point beyond the slate so somewhere like that okay and i'm going to drag this up and this should come in around 600 okay it's probably going to be a little bit long so i want it to land correctly so i'm going to make it 550 Okay, now here is my slate, it's about five mil thick. So I'll bring that all the way back here and uh, Rebel will pick up the parallel and I'll close it like so. Now there is my slate, um, which is tilting correctly. Now I need to do this a second time uh, for this one here because it's at a slightly different angle. So you'll draw that in. Now, TL on the keyboard, you can see that that's a little bit thicker there. TL, bring that back. So here's my battens and my slates going in. And in order to complete that, what I'd really need, obviously, is the uh, breather membrane that goes in underneath the, uh, the slate here. And for the breather membrane, well, I'm going to go into Manage because uh, I'm going to create a new line style here, look. So line styles. Uh, let's open this up and I'll go, do I have, oh, I've got a one here. Look, I've got this one here already. So that's great. So I'm going to go back into annotate, detail, line, medium. Let's school up here. We've got a uh, breather membrane. And now look, I'm going to pick a, I don't want it on the line. I want it just slightly below it. Okay. Roughly to about there and to about there and to about there. All right, and there's my breather membrane coming in as well. Again, TL on the keyboard can make that a little bit thicker. You can see that that's, uh, I might just change the color and the style on that to make it stand out uh, a little bit more. Uh, but that's basically now how we would do our slate and our battens and our breather membrane.